Yeah, my name's Mark Fitzgerald. I'm the Director of Trauma Services at the Alfred Hospital and Director of the National Trauma Research Institute. The Alfred's an interesting place because it's got all sorts of people from all sorts of specialties with great knowledge and interestingly when you get a sick patient come in, everyone comes out of the woodwork. You don't have to go looking for people to assist. And uh, So having the research facilities linked to the clinical exposure, I mean, they're just side by side. The clinical area is just outside that window there. You know, it's a two minute walk and then having great research facilities co-located means for clinical medicine, we want to demonstrate a, a pragmatic approach to patients. As, so being able to see an immediate benefit to the people you're looking after because of some technique you've developed or some different approach is very, very rewarding actually. You don't want to do the PhD to do the PhD. You want to find something that you're really interested in, that you want to know more about, that you want to contribute to, and then you want to do your PhD around it because that interest will sustain you. Find an area of interest that they're interested in, that they've got a passion about, and then study that area. And the second thing that you tell every student to do is make sure there's a specific question that you're answering. The Masters in Trauma Management is a new Masters program that will start in the second half of the year and it's aimed at two groups of trauma care. One is the emergency group, um, so the patients who come into the trauma centre here or pre-hospital that require resuscitation. In the Masters program there's a background in research methodology, there's um, subjects related to trauma system management how people respond to injury, what kills them, the interventions that work, um, and how to plan and stage those interventions. A and the surgical component of the same master's program really looks at the operative management, the surgical intervention, the perioperative uh, care. There's quite a bit of an overlap, but one stream's really looking at resuscitation, second stream's looking at resuscitation, but also ongoing management and intervention. Uh, it's a two-year program. We really want to have people to absorb what we teach here, become part of the clinical service during the master's program and then go out and propagate the faith basically.